playing it small is ruining your possibilities for lasting love. And when you hear this episode of Make Him Wonder that I wanted to do so that you get it in a very fast chunk of useful information, it's going to help you so that you play it big in dating. Because if you haven't found the one, I know that you are playing it small. Statistically, this is true. And you will know why at the end of this episode, it is important for you to check out that cute carpenter, flirt with that hot fireman, or listen closely for more information about that less than intriguing electrician that could be an electrifying connection for you to have for the long term. You're going to understand why I say all this, and you will have what you desire and deserve in your love life. That's something I hold fast to, and I can help you get it. So listen closely. I'm so thankful for your advice. I love how intelligent and eloquent you are and still have love. You've given me some great guidance and direction, and now it's up to me to execute it. I feel a lot better working through it. I thank you so, so much. I feel like you already are instilling more confidence in me that this is possible. Sick of sacrificing or settling in your romantic life? Welcome to Make Him Wonder with Coach Paula Grooms where women struggling in real relationships ask the expert. Unscripted, unfiltered, understandable coaching conversations to help passionate women succeed in love. Hi there, and welcome to Make Him Wonder. I'm your host, Coach Paula, a dating and relationship coach for women, licensed social worker, and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. I coach you to find a potential Mr. Right, get an ex back, or grow an existing relationship with a man you truly desire, and learn how to inspire his continued interest for the relationship of your dreams, so that you level up to the complete commitment you totally deserve. Playing it small is ruining your possibilities for lasting love. I bet you never considered whether you're playing it big or small. But I would bet the house that you are, because not only is it normal, natural, and human to play it small more than ever before, it is harder, because not only is it normal, natural, and human to play it small, but more than ever before, it is harder not to play it big. But wait, before you think that this episode may not be for you, you owe it to yourself to hear what I mean by playing it small because you truly must change it to succeed in finding lasting forever love. I don't think there's a more important topic than this and it's why I chose to speak about it today on the very first episode of season four of Make Him Wonder. So welcome if you're a first time listener of the podcast. Most of you know that most of the time I have a guest who comes on anonymously to share her real life love journey to get my assessment and coaching. Yes, Make Him Wonder is real life love and relationship coaching conversations I have with real women bringing their real time concerns, questions, struggles to me and I give them my real and honest assessment of what is happening and coach them on what to do about it. But I wanted to open season four with this topic as my goal is to get you to open up to what will get you real happiness and fulfillment in your life long term because I believe the happiest and most fulfilled lives are lived in partnership. So here's how you're playing it small. Yes, I can make that unequivocal statement that you are playing it small because it is human nature to do so and to do what I'm going to tell you about. If you're like most women, you have a list of wants, desires, wishes, or criteria for a mate and even for a date. If you're also like most women, this list includes things like a man's height, education, income, class, and physical looks. Normal, natural, anthropological even. Useful in getting you what will bring you real love and happiness. Well, this is where the thinking small comes in. You see, the world is open to us now in a way that it has never been before. 
Never before have we been privy to the lives of others in the way we are now. In other words, we get to see what other women get to have and we have no ability to limit our feelings. And until we become aware of the need to do so, we have very limited ability to change what we think. But we must if we are going to have the best shot at getting anything even close to what it is that will bring us a lifetime of fulfillment and happiness. First, let's come to an agreement that you must believe it's impossible to have everything you want. Now, if that shocks you, hold on. If you want to argue that point, I'll simply ask you this question. If you could live without any physical pain, would you want that? If you could wave a magic wand and take away all the ills and evil in the world, would you want that? If you could eradicate every disease and all could live life and pass away peacefully in their sleep at a hundred years or over, would you want that? You see where I'm going with this. Once we get one thing, we are wired as humans to want and strive for the next. Again, human nature. And if you want to be free of wanting, well... Good luck with that. Certainly there are people who do that. They live their lives striving for not wanting. Monks make it a practice of that. But I would say unless you have a lobotomy, not wanting ain't going to happen. Because even those monks want. They want not to want. And I'm sure you don't want a lobotomy for yourself or anybody else. So hang with me here. My premise. You can't have everything you want. But Paula, you might say, you're a manifester and you believe you can have anything you want. That's right. You can have anything you want, but you can't have everything you want. Let that percolate for a bit while you listen to the statistics about men that I'm about to give you, as I know that most women desire men to be tall, rich, educated, and so forth. So here goes. The percentage of men six feet tall or over, who make 250,000 or more is, drumroll, 0.01%. The percentage of men six feet tall or over who make $100,000 or more is 3%. In 2022, the top 1% male income was... $500,020. That's the top 1% of males and their income. How tall are men in the world? The global mean height of adult men is roughly 5 feet 9 inches tall. That means half of men will be over that and half will be under. But it doesn't really work out in terms of half and half. It's just the mean. Depending where you live... For example, men tend to be shorter in South Asia, while they tend to be taller in Europe and Central Asia. If you want to be where men closer to six feet tall are less of a rarity, then you need to go to the top three countries for a higher percentage of taller men. And those countries are Estonia, Montenegro, and the Netherlands. Want a man to be more educated or equally educated? Well, good luck. As women have outnumbered men in college since 1979. In 2023, 66% of college graduates were women. 66% ladies. At public four-year colleges, 71% of women students graduated versus 63% of men. At private four-year colleges, 80% of women's students graduated versus 74% of men. At public two-year colleges, about 47% of women's students graduated versus 41% of men. Are you shocked by these statistics? I'm not shocked that you are because we as humans cannot escape our smallness. In other words, we have an inability to think big. Statistics are big. Our brains can only think in terms of a few humans, not the many. In other words, if you know of a few women who have what you desire, what you want, you will translate it in your brain as what is possible for you to have. And that's certainly true. It is possible. But is it probable? 
I always say, think of yourself as an exceptional woman. But if you think of yourself as an exception to the rule, you will likely be hurt. This is true in terms of so many things we discuss here. For example, have you ever heard of someone sleeping with a man on a first date and they got married and lived happily ever after? Maybe you have. It has happened, no doubt. But if you think of yourself as the exception to the rule that sleeping with a man on a first date doesn't work, you'll likely end up heartbroken. Because statistically, it doesn't work. Advertisers, especially for charities, use our inability to think big in a way that illustrates what I'm discussing. For example, rescue missions for starving children and abused animals. Know that we are wired for just a few stories. The overriding adage is, one death is a tragedy. Thousands of deaths are just a statistic. Yes, one death is a tragedy to which we can relate and feel. Thousands of deaths are a statistic which doesn't inspire our action. So if you're struggling to meet someone or feel anything for the men you do meet, you might be thinking too small. Why should you have to date this marginally successful, less educated, balding, 5'9 or shorter man, even though he is warm, funny, maybe smart, when the sister-in-law of your best friend's cousin just married a six foot two CEO who could have been a hair model. Well, the truth is you don't have to date that marginally successful, less educated, balding five foot nine man or any other. But because my mission is for women and men to have healthy, happy, lifelong relationships that are fulfilling, I'm bringing you the cold, hard statistical facts for you to do with what you will. This is because I have so many women coming to me, telling me they find it hard to meet someone. Yet I know they and you are meeting men all the time. You may not perceive it as such, but if you're out in the world, nearly 50% of the people you come in contact with are likely men. You may just be thinking small and it's hurting you. So I'm here today to ask you to open yourself up to thinking big, to knowing that the odds of you meeting that six foot tall or taller man of your dreams that makes millions or even just 250,000 a year is likely a dream that while possible is simply not probable. And if you're waiting for it, you may just be wasting your life, your love, and maybe even the possibility of having children. If ever a human has done anything, it is possible. But I implore you to think big and look at the probability. Yes, you might play the lottery, but you don't waste your life counting on it. You see, when lifetime partners are asked what it is about their spouse or significant other that they love most, looks are so far down on the list that it's almost insignificant. Money is also not the main factor of happiness. It's fantastic, of course, but it doesn't make lifelong happiness. There are plenty of millionaires who are miserable. So that cute IT guy who didn't finish college or sexy carpenter who was tall on character but short in stature may want to build a life with you that could be fulfilling. Ladies, love like life is a gamble. The reason why casinos make money is that they have the statistics down to a science and we have to do that to win at love. We have to know the stats and gamble very mindfully. Start making a mental note when you're walking around. How many men do you see who are six feet or more? And then ask yourself the question, is he likely single? Is he gay? Those stats that I gave you of 0.01% of men six feet or taller and who make $250,000 a year or more run across the years of men 18 to 80. And they don't meter out married men, gay men, men who are not interested in a relationship. None of that. It's just a cold, hard fact. And we need to be factual to make 
good decisions for our lives, know the stats on education and wealth, and start to look at social media posts for what they are, wanting you to have your eyeballs on that post. Quick one, you might be surprised to know that there are over 150 real life love and relationship coaching conversations just like this one ready for you to hear right now. And you can have access to all of those by looking at my pinned comment below. Yes, the 8020 Wonder Club is yours for a full month for free by looking at that comment and taking advantage of this wonderful offer for you to level up. Whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, you're in a divorce situation, you have a situation ship, or you want an ex back, there are 150 plus episodes there and more to come categorized by age and relationship status, all ad-free in their entirety so that you can learn, level up, and take a leap forward in your relationship. Take a look at that comment below, follow the one easy step there, and I will see you in the club. Now back to the episode. You know, this wasn't easy for me to bring to you. It's not easy to let go of dreams. I'm not asking you to let go of dreams. I'm just asking you to make new dreams that statistically can come true. The 0.01% of men, six feet or more, who make $250,000 a year or more, are they going to choose you over the 100% of available women? Maybe. Are you going to gamble on that? Are you going to gamble on meeting him and then that he's going to want what you want? I want you to take stock of all that you are and all that you have. Work on yourself so that you know above and beyond that you are an exceptional woman. But don't risk being alone because you think of yourself as an exception to the rule. Know the stats and start to think more broadly. Think big, not small. One or two stories is not the story. If this helps you to get out there and look at the possibilities in front of you in a more positive way, I've done a bit of my job. If that's challenging for you or makes you upset or angry, that's good because then you'll take action and let me help you get clear. You can talk to me here for free on Make Him Wonder or we can have a private consult. Let me help step up your self-concept. Step into what is possible. Override your subconscious programming and sidestep the small. I want you to go for the big. If you question any of this, go to Google. Find it out for yourself. Knowledge is power. We don't succeed by trying to reinvent the wheel. We must go with the existing reality and then make good choices. Today, more than ever, it is difficult to make choices because we have more options than ever. But we also know from human nature, more options do not help us We have to think, not just feel. And we, as women, are feeling creatures. I can help you funnel those feelings into what can be fulfilling for you. And that is lifelong, forever love. And to that end, I implore you to think big. And always remember, within the presence of any man, big, small, short, tall, rich in income, or wealth, or rich in character, humor, smarts, either way, you must remember to make him wonder. I trust you got a lot of great information and gained valuable insight from this real coaching conversation that you can use to help you in your romantic life. It's why this podcast exists and why there are several episodes that I choose to bring to you in their entirety, like this one. But you may not know that 98% of Make Him Wonder episodes are only partially available on YouTube and podcast listening platforms. And because I don't want you to miss out on getting the results you desire, I invite you to check out the 8020 Wonder Club, an exclusive membership-only club of the Make Him Wonder podcast, where you get each episode in its entirety ad-free. Over 150 episodes with a real woman coming to me with a real-life love situation like you just heard, all categorized by age and relationship status. So you can choose episodes that pertain to your unique situation, categories of 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s, getting an ex back, situationships, dating divorced, older women, younger men, and so much more. 
plus all new episodes the moment they're formatted and ready to be aired. No waiting for partial episodes to drop here on YouTube or your podcast listening platform. The 8020 Wonder Club also includes my Making Magic with Men Mindset Manual, a weekly video series of mindset and mechanics practices for you to do at your own pace each and every week. Join the club monthly and cancel at any time or save by committing to a six or 12 month membership. And not only will you save by committing to more, you'll receive a full coaching intensive experience where you'll be talking to me personally. You choose the date anytime during your 12 months and I'll be answering all your questions on getting what you want with the man you want. Don't miss out on how to make your man wonder in the right way to have the results you desire and deserve. Go now to the 8020wonder.club. That's T-H-E 8020wonder.club. You and your love will be glad you did.